I mean, look at this trail that we're heading up. This is amazing. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, and in this video, we're going to be heading back over to the dealership and picking up a vehicle that we can take off-roading. Now, in the past couple of videos where we went off-road, we used ATVs and a couple of other vehicles that were good for it, but we never really went and used any full-size vehicles, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. So, we're going to be hopping right back into our uh, Denali Duramax that we used in the last Farming, Simula Farming Simulator video to drop off the lumber and at this point I mean we're already really close to the dealership so we're just gonna go ahead and hop inside and head on down there and then pick up our new vehicle so let's go ahead and hop in it sounds so good and like I'm totally willing to let this thing go through its startup process every time we use it solely because of the fact that it sounds so good like the startup process is one of the best parts of this truck don't mind me just dragging my trailer along the edge of the building. It's fine. You don't have to worry about that. It's literally a-okay. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure that there's nobody coming. And we should be able to just head on out. Not bad. Now, we know where a lot of the off-road trails are on this map, which is really good. I mean, this map itself, we're out on the Elk Mountain Wyoming map. And that map can be found on places like King Mods and stuff like that. So, actually, as can this truck and the vehicle we're about to pick up at the dealership, which I will have linked in the description down below. So, let's make our way on down to the dealership itself. Come on. God, this map is so pretty. There's really, like, there's really nothing about this map that I don't like. I mean, this map is so well put together. Everything looks incredible. I mean, you've got the town. You've got the realistic buildings, the realistic, like, locations and everything. You've got the road network and all of the different places you can put your houses. It really just ties the whole experience together so dang well. All right, let's go on and park you up over here. And then we're going to head on inside and grab our new rig. And this should be somewhat out of the way enough. I think it'll be fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave you there. Let me hop on up over the trailer. Don't worry about that. It's fine. All right, let's head on inside. And boom, we'll go ahead and shut their door for them. Now... In terms of picking up this new vehicle, I think you guys are going to really enjoy what we have in store. Now, as far as legit off-roading goes, we have quite a few options. But the one that I'm particularly curious about is this, this 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, I have never driven it before in FS22. I've legitimately never taking it for a spin. I've never had a go in it off-road. So let's see what kind of customization options we have. We have a stock body. We have a no roof. Oh, that looks great. I mean, let's see. Empty trunk with tension belts. Oh, you can actually use that to haul like small cargo. That's really cool. I'm going to take the roof off. I think it looks really good with the roof off. So let's see. Wheel brands. Let's go through a couple of... Oh, God. Airless tires. Oh, that's a little bit wacky. I don't know if I want that. Now, we really only have one option for the wheels and tires, and it's these. They look like BFG KO2s on the stock Bronco wheels, but that's completely fine. Now, front, let's see, you can do a bull bar. I'm probably not going to run it because I feel like it sticks out a little bit too far and kind of hurts the approach angle of the rig, so that's fine. Let's see, spare wheel out back. I will probably do that because I think that that looks really good, and I think it's actually really realistic. Now, cage-wise, let's see, oh, no cage or the actual cage itself, gotcha. Now, rear seats, apparently you can actually do a rear seat delete if you want to, that's really cool. Side doors, you can, oh, that's awesome. You can take the doors off. Bro, I love that. I actually really, really like that. I'm gonna do it. Extra lighting, so you can do a hood-mounted light bar, and then you can do a roof-mounted light bar, or you can do both. I'm gonna do, I think, the roof-mounted light bar. Now, color-wise, this color actually looks really good, although I'm going to mess with the interior color a little bit and see if... Ooh, I like that. The Phoenix Blue a lot. I don't know how it actually is going to look with the yellow on it right now, but let's go through some of the other color options. Now, let's see. Race Red. There's... Let's see. There's a lot of these different... Wow, okay. There's like a different variant of every single color. What about Nitro Blue? Oh, bro. That looks... That looks pretty awesome. That, that looks really, really, really good. Now, before I stick with that, I'm partially... I'm considering doing the stock color, actually, because 
I number one, I like it a lot, and number two, it's a realistic color that the Bronco does actually come with. So let's see if we can find an interior color that works well with it. Now, the yellow on yellow, I'm a little iffy on. So what about a kind of like a kind of like a dark gray on the interior? I think that works. I think that looks really really good. We're not gonna really mess with the license plate. I'll do that later. So let's go ahead and buy this Bronco. Not too bad on the purchase price either. God, this thing looks so good. I love the way these look. I know that some people have mixed opinions on how these look, but I think they look really, really good. All right, let's head back on outside and pick up our Bronco and haul it out to some trails. Now, it's chilling out over there, but first thing we got to do, and I should have done this earlier, is put the ramps down on the trailer. So let's see. Ramps are coming down. Not bad. And now, we get to go back over there and load the Bronco up. Now, I'm thinking we're going to take it over to one of the trails that goes kind of along the ridge line of the mountain. Oh, this thing looks awesome. I love the way it looks. I also love how we have a helmet on. I think that's brilliant. Yo, I love how the dude's foot actually goes to the pedal. That is so cool. Yo, that is legitimately so sick. All right, let's put you on up on the trailer. God, that looks amazing. It looks perfect, too, like, going up on the trailer. Oh, man, once we get this thing all strapped down and ready to go, it's going to be perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on out, and we'll get it strapped down and ready. There we go. Front axle and rear axle done. And now we get to get in the truck, and we get to haul it off to some off-road trails. All right, let's go ahead and put those ramps up. And now, it's time to take this thing wheeling. Or rather, it's time to haul it out to where we can go to take it wheeling. Oh, hold on. Things got to go through its startup process. There we go. Now we can move it. All right. So where should we head off to? I'm thinking there's actually a really good trail. Oh, I know where we're going. Yeah, there's a really good trail out this direction. Kind of past where my other house is. Um, but let's see. So let's go to the side. Nobody coming, so we're good there. Now, if we zoom out just a little bit, and you can, you guys can kind of get a little bit of a better view of the entire setup, doesn't that look just proper? It looks so realistic. Like, the entire setup is honestly a setup that I would totally, totally rock in real life. All right, let's go ahead and turn it around. Time to send it. I love the rough road ahead sign. It's perfect for this. Yo, there's actually also a, like, a side trail back here. A side trail that goes off of the other side trail that actually has little rocks that you can flex out on. I really want to see what it's like on those. See, this thing handles pretty well. It's still a little, like, touchy and twitchy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I did not realize there was a turn coming up. I probably should have planned a little bit better for that. But this thing actually does, like I said before, really well in terms of not feeling super jumpy. The GMC feels super jumpy when you're going down the road. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. All right, let's go. Nice and easy. Let's see, will you climb over the rock? Well, it's kind of getting hung up a little bit on the bumper. Oh, yo, what? There it is. Yo, there's that flex. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks so good. I want to get out and actually see what that looks like. Dude, I love that. That looks amazing. That looks so good. Is it like... Oh, dude, that tire is stuffed on the other side. Yo, this is... This is legitimately amazing. Like, normally, you do not get to have, like, flex shots like that in farming simulator that is awesome let's get a little bit further on down the trail it's got like proper amounts of uh-oh it's got proper amounts of being high centered i'll tell you that yeah it's, it's proper high centered right now come on bump it up and over or not it's easy wow or again or not come on no 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 this thing's gonna have to have some speed to get over that. There we go. You know, it, it really is interesting when you start going down like an off-road trail in Farming Simulator because I feel like sometimes people don't expect Farming Simulator to have like, you know, the ability to watch, you know, vehicles flex out and stuff like this, but it's better at it than you might think. It's obviously no like 
dedicated off-road game, but it's pretty dang good at what it does. I mean, look at that. That is, okay, that's legitimately an awesome shot right there. Like, that's legitimately good looking. And you know what? I think that this game kind of like, kind of punches above its weight class in terms of the experience it can give you for off-roading on some of these modded maps. I mean, look at this trail that we're heading up. This is amazing. Just flex it out up and over. Man, this like makes me want to do more off-roading at FS22. Uh, did we get hung up on the div? We did. See, that's another point for realism there. Properly like hung up on the freaking div. That happens all the time in real life. There we go, just a little bit more. Up and over it goes. Oh, come on, come on, just a little bit more. Little bit more, not bad. Boom. Honestly, pretty dang good run out of this thing so far. Pretty dang good run. Oh, oh God, easy. That's a sketchy spot. Let me try to bring you around there. I'm trying to do this kind of like slow and realistic and it's actually doing a really good job. There have only been a couple of obstacles that I've had to legitimately bump. There we go. Bro, this thing is so good. This thing is so good. All right, that's gonna high center me though. And this is a weird spot right here because you have like rocks on one side and rocks on the other. And like, oh geez, oh my God. All right, back it up just a hair. Yo, three wheel action, all right. That's so sick. Let's see if we can like squeeze it through here. Nope. Oh, too much, too much, too much. No, what are you hung up on? It's hung up on something. I think it's the rocker panel. Yeah. Here we go. Just a little bit more. Try not to let it get too carried away and go over the edge because if it gets carried away and goes over the edge, that is not gonna be a fun time for any of us. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. I was like, I'm just gonna stick with the power on that one. Yo, we legit like properly climbed up the side of that trail though. That was amazing. This thing, this thing legitimately wants to, like, makes me want to do more off-roading in FS22. It did such an amazing job of that. And look at that flex, bro. That's amazing. I, I was not expecting that level of capability out of this thing. I wasn't expecting that level of capability out of anything in FS22. But, like, bro, I'm genuinely shocked. I, I'm genuinely shocked that this thing did as well as it did and gave the off-road experience that it gave us. But that is gonna do it for this video on FS22, y'all. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.